Hey, what's up folks, it's Rojo, and welcome back to the Taffer Family Estate as we play some more Darkest Dungeon. When we last left off, we had a couple, uh, pretty, uh, successful missions, got some, some good XP for some of our guys, and, uh, now we're gonna try to get a sweet-ass trinket for, uh, one of our grave robbers, uh, perhaps in the future here. Uh, which means, uh, we're gonna be bringing a veteran-level team... But who do we want to bring? I know everybody's pretty well upgraded. I think we definitely bring Sue and Clarice again. I know it's probably getting a little... Maybe a little tired uh, watching these guys be so awesome. So maybe we'll actually mix it up. We'll, uh, we'll do double grape shots this time around instead of double point blanks. And then we can bring... Um, probably... Do we want to bring lips on this? We definitely want to bring one of our grave robbers. In fact, we'll probably bring her. Who's actually she's she's got a little bit of stress resist in the wield. But truthfully, it doesn't really matter. So I think we'll bring her and she because she's already so close to leveling up anyway. Uh we'll put her maybe in the front. That's a, an odd place for her. <laughs> For uh, her to be, but uh, it's, a, it's okay. And uh, or we could put her in the back and put a put Fatman in the front, or actually Fohammer even. But we probably want our jesters to be leveling up as well. Hmm, it's it's, a, it's an interesting situation. Definitely, yeah. I think we'll bring him. We'll put him in the front. And then, uh, do we go Jesterless on a long mission? That seems dangerous. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll go Jesterless on this one. Why not? Just mix it up a little bit and make it interesting. So I think, uh... Yeah, we'll do like an AoE build. That sounds like it might be fun. Okay. Alright, I'm liking this a little bit more now. So the way we do this is, uh, we, uh, set, we actually probably need to go back. Yeah, we need to go back here real quick and set her up with flashing daggers at max rank. And we'll tweak her skills. We're going to get rid of shadow fade on her in favor of flashing daggers. Uh, and then, uh... You see here, we're we're gonna bring uh, foe hammer here. Come hither. We can't use flashbang from the front, so we probably want to give him uppercut just to uh, round out his skills a little bit more to our liking here. And we'll just do that. Yes, this should be fine. All right, let's embark. Uh, first thing we do is put everybody back in position. You go in the back, you go in front, and you guys have the esteemed privilege of going in the middle. And I think they should already be pretty well set up trinket-wise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking good. And, uh, you actually went on, on the last one as well, so you're good. Which means we just need to set her up. Uh, so let's take... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, we have people in uh, in the sanitarium, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I just don't want to forget about that. Um, was it you that I brought last? No. Who the hell did I bring last time? Ah, this guy. It was Lips, of course. So we'll take these off. Just like so. And then uh, we will hook her up with... Uh, She's going to be the wielder of our scouting trinket, I suppose, just so we have some some good scouting. And uh, to finish it off, I would love for her to have some more damage. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. Um, 
Because I wonder, well, she's already quite fast, but only on the first round, I think, isn't it? Yeah, only on the first round. So I would like her to be fast all the time. So I guess we'll give her a feather crystal. Or actually, yeah, we'll give her a feather crystal. I think that's probably the best bet. And uh, we'll go ahead and provision this thing, because everybody should. Should being the operative word there. Uh, have trinkets in good uh, in good shape here. All right, away we go. We will bring uh, this much food. We'll bring four shovels. We'll bring, whoops, I said four shovels. We'll bring four of these, four of these, one of these, one of these. Yeah, we're not even going to bother with that, honestly, at this point. We'll bring medicinal herbs and we'll bring uh, one holy water. I'm not going to worry about the key because our inventory is going to be fucked up enough as it is, I think. So let's embark and hope for the best. It's been a while since we've uh, been, uh, you know, challenged, I guess, on a mission. So. Maybe today will be the day. Now we actually probably, now that I think about it, want to take point blank shot off of, off of at least one of these guys in favor of pistol shots. But honestly, I'll keep I'll keep them with point blank in case they get uh, jumbled or something. Pistol shots not going to do all that much good for us. It is complete 100% of room battles, which means we're going to have to go this way, at least initially. Stash heirlooms, all right. I'm not going to use a shovel on this, but here, let the grave robber do it. I don't know if this is intended, but uh, yeah, if you click on somebody before the bad thing happens, they'll do it instead. Trap right off the bat, but we, we resisted. Everything's fine. Now, it's possible I may regret not bringing a jester just due to the nature of long missions, um, but we'll have enough opportunities to reduce stress, I think, that I'm not going to worry about it too much. Oops. Let's definitely reduce, uh, remove that blight, I guess I should say, because uh, we can. Let's have you open this again. Man. The dice are not in our favor. Curses, indeed. What did you just get? Bad humors. That's not the worst of diseases, but it's not good. Nothing there. All right. Well, I guess we didn't need to come this way. Fair enough. And we'll get, we're going to have a combat on the way back. Great. And a fairly difficult one at that. Uh, but it's okay. I think... I'm going to try to kill this guy, except we missed, so that's not very good. And maybe we, uh, in this case, do us advance and tr just try to get this, this guy dead ASAP here. And actually, maybe a flashing dagger. It eh, doesn't do enough damage. So I'm just going to do a knife throw. Wow, I'm so shocked that she missed. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, but then we'll... Uh, we'll do this advance again. Yeah, we got him. Okay, good. Now we just got to worry about this guy. Tree branch smackdown. It hurts a lot. Yeah. And he got knocked back. It's okay, though. Here we'll just uh, start stacking up fat, uh, fat damage on this guy now. And probably just a thrown dagger is fine. Nice crit. And if possible, I would love to uh, do that. That doesn't do very much damage at all. Huh. Confusing spores. We get shuffled. This is why I kept point blank on. Because uh, we could do something like that now. We didn't quite kill him. But that'll do the job. And we're actually back in the more or less the formation we need to be in. Still, that, uh, that did not go well. 17 damage to one person is very inconvenient when you don't have a healer, basically. And I guess, yeah, we're going to have to go down. Uh, we'll go straight south and uh, check out that room to see if there's any interesting uh, combat shenanigans happening out that way. The eating helps. His, his HP is too low for him to get 2 HP per uh, food, though, which is not so good. 300 gold. We'll take it. And one shovel down. It's not entirely unlikely that we'll have to uh, use all of our shovels on this mission. 
The scouting is good, yeah, so we will have to go down here for sure. Would have been nice if we could skip it, but uh, not so lucky. Some crests are nice. Good, alright, this is the perfect kind of setup for, uh, for our party comp right now. Uh, in fact, what I want to do is probably... The double point blank is probably going to kill that one, so we'll kill him. Or not double point blank, double grape shot, I, sh I should say. Eh, almost got him anyway. So we'll just finish it up. There we go, perfect. And a citrine. We'll probably end up dropping that for something more valuable. That's how it seems to go a lot of the time anyway. Another really difficult fight. Ooh, we got lucky with our surprise though, so that's good. Uh, how do we want to handle this? I think we should try, let's try and kill this giant before he gets to go. Which means chucking a dagger. A singular strike. And basically we're just gonna just use our, our highest damaging attacks on him. He didn't, he didn't get the bleed, that's okay. Not gonna stress about it. If we're lucky, this might work. We can actually try to uppercut him, but he's probably got high enough move resist that it's not going to work out very well. Man, Collect Bounty does not really seem to be holding it down very well. The damage just seems real low. And so he's bled for three. Four to eight. I'm going to roll the dice on this. Nice. So he's going to die. For sure. And uh, that means we can probably we can try to kill uh, this guy. Yeah, didn't work out. It's okay. Ah, but we could maybe flashing daggers and we'll kill them both, but at that point we might as well just do this instead. And... Curse of Vulnerability. What does this do, I wonder? We'll never know. Goodbye. And uh, we'll just do regular attacks on this lady here. In fact, we actually have to lunge to even be able to hit her, so that's fine. Lots of treasure and stuff. We don't, yeah, we don't give a shit about the speed charm. So, uh, and I guess we'll have you open up this heirloom chest. It is trapped. Oh no, she's bled. We'll go ahead and solve that, and I think we will, um, we'll venture back up here, and then we're gonna camp. And that's basically going to let us take care of some of this uh, damage that we took. And then clear out our inventory a bit, and we'll still have another log that we can use later on if we need to. So, camp away. And uh, we will eat the a Ugh, Do we eat the eight food? We got a little bit of stress. Ah, man, I don't think I want to eat eight food. Not for the, the small amount of stress that we have, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and wound care on you, and that'll help out quite a bit, I think. And then we're going to have you guys uh, clean guns, clean guns, bandit sense, and uh, do we have two more time? Yeah, we do have two more. So we could go for some more crit and accuracy, or we could go for some more scouting, but the scouting is not, we don't really need it that badly. I'm almost tempted to go for, uh, I'm going to forage, yeah, get a little bit more food. And then I'm going to use said food to heal him up a little bit more. Alright. I think this will be okay. Just hoping we don't get ambushed here because it's extremely inconvenient. <laughs> we didn't. That's good. Away we go. Yeah, I didn't go for the scouting because it is convenient, but there's not really, you know, that many branching paths. So it's not going to help us ignore anything terribly interesting, I don't think. It's trapped. Everything. Why is everything trapped? Stop that. That's a fairly difficult fight. It's always one of the ones I dread just because of the, the potential for blight stacking. And these guys do quite a bit of damage in their own right. Um, but it would seem we got fortunate. So um, we'll just attack this guy. I think we're going to be able to kill them before they get to go. So especially now that we're buffed. Um, Yep, flashing daggers, and yeah, good job. Worked out perfectly. And hey, we actually got a key. We'll probably throw that away. Actually, we may be able to just use it on this room. Yeah. 
Don't like this fight, but I love the surprises we're getting. It's very good. So we'll attack you. And we will attack you. Ooh, nice crit though. And now uh, we could go for um, for grape shots, but honestly, there's probably no need. I think we just uh, do regular attacks at this point. And uh, yeah, we'll go for the yeah. Okay, let's just say just go for the the couple of hits, but uh, the crit is excellent as well, and that'll take care of our stress for sure. We don't need these gloves at all. And let's use our key. Nice, not bad. Unfortunately, we can't carry any of it, but we probably don't need the herbs at this point. And we probably don't need the holy water, so I'd rather have these items. Away we go! I'm thinking maybe we'll camp once we get down like to the corner here or something. Ooh. Interesting surprise. We don't have Shadow Fade anymore, so uh, that's not so good. Ooh, unfortunate. That's okay. A grape shot will finish that off, so. Oh, but we can't do that if we do that. My bad. <laughs> we didn't really have much of a choice there anyway, so. Um, we may as well try and kill one of these guys. Probably should have gone for the higher HP one, technically, but not worth worrying about. And uh, pick to the face again. He might actually get to. Nope, I was gonna say he might get to go. He's pretty fast, if I recall. All right. Remind yourself that Here, play with this. Slow and Distraught. Zoophobia. Hmm. Well, it's not that bad actually. But uh, we may get that taken care of in the not too distant future here. Scouting's good. We got, you know, one trap that we'll be able to probably disarm thanks to that, so I can't really complain. Oh, the triple kill. What a beast. And we're out of space again. We'll just uh Uh we'll drop the citrine, yeah, for the gold. It's more likely we'll find some more gold, so Better than a trap. I mean, you're not wrong, my friend. And that's all we get. Fair enough. Not quite as good as the last map, which was incredible. It was, uh, I think, last episode. Go on that did like literally the whole adventure or the whole quest, which is which is amazing. All right, flashing daggers, and uh, we'll just try to AOE these guys down. We probably will be able to, but we'll see. Don't love that. Uh, uh, don't love that bleed there, but we had the bandages. It's, what's the, it's what they're for. Yeah, I was afraid he was going to get to go, but we got lucky with a dodge at least. Good. And honestly, uh, damn, that crit, man. Come on. Oh, my guy's alone. Um, We'll just do that. Just to be safe. And uh, what if we did... Ooh, I was say, what if we did that? And uh, I guess we found out, didn't we? Really? How how dare you? All right, there we go. Lots of gold, some jade. We're just going to drop the jade. And uh, uh don't want to camp again just yet, so we'll uh, bandage you and have you look at this. Valuables. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Let's have you eat a couple food. We'll take that. And we'll drop the rest. Away we go. We'll have you also try to disarm this. Good job. We actually haven't come up against too much stuff that does blight, so maybe we'll drop our uh, our anti venoms in the not too distant future. Usually, though, I feel like we find either a tree or like some spiders or some shit. So uh, that's why I usually bring them. But now we're just gonna drop all this treasure. We may just straight up camp here. Yeah. This is actually a fairly, or, well, it would be a fairly difficult fight if we didn't just get uh, as lucky as we did just now. 
Uh, I think I'm going to try and take out the Fusilier. Good job. I was expecting that to take two rounds, honestly, but worked out uh, well enough anyway. And uh, now I'm going to focus on this guy in the front. No particular reason. They're both dangerous. Um, I just kind of feel like uh, we may be able to get this guy killed, so... I'm actually starting not to like Bounty Hunter very much. The, the damage is really not what we need uh, to be able to be successful here, in my opinion. At least especially in the future, when shit's going to have even more HP than it does now. Like, six damage is not going to... It's not going to cut it, my friend. And... Good job. That's a little bit better. You're, you're changing my mind now. And we got a lot of treasure and another shovel. Man. Um, I don't wanna I don't wanna leave that much gold behind, so I think we drop the anti-venoms and we'll take the holy water. No, not the holy water. We'll take the gold, of course. And now we will camp yet again. Eight food. That's gonna take care of all of our healing and uh, other issues. And now we can clean guns, bandit sense, clean guns, and uh, we don't really need a wound care. We don't need the scouting, so we'll do a, this is how we do it on, uh, I guess, Clarice. And uh, we'll do a forage just in case we take a little bit of damage. Oh, well, we didn't get anything, so fair enough. Let's just hope we don't get ambushed again. Yes, yes. The gods will carry us, etc., etc. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have badmouthed the gods, because now we got ambushed. It's a fairly difficult fight. But not difficult enough, I don't think. Um, flashing daggers? 4 to 6 and 4 to 6. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Point blank. And I'm thinking, no, he can't quite attack her, actually. 6 to 12, that's not quite going to do it, so we'll do one of these instead. We'll get her killed next round, and actually, that pull isn't so bad. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see if we can kill her with a... a, uh, come hither. Yeah. And this guy will get to go, unfortunately. The Ren is not good, because it can do... Yeah, the Blight, quite a lot of damage. That's going to be an immense amount of damage, and we have no way to heal it, as things stand right now. So that's a bit of a problem. And one more. There we go. Hey, we got an any venom though. I appreciate that a great deal. Uh, okay. Um, let's move you back there, and we'll move you back up. Here, play with this. Insights to the nature of this world. She's now a wheeled explorer. But get rid of her. Her thing that makes her go first. Uh, whatever it is, quick draw. That's kind of shitty, actually. Well, we got a little bit more scouting to figure out there's, there is, in fact, another fight coming up. It's actually been, like, just straight fights of the past four rooms, or it will it will be anyway. Which I don't love. Alright, the crests are fine, though. What do we have here? Okay, this isn't so bad. This is definitely AoE territory, for sure. And boom! Hopefully we can get this guy killed. We didn't quite finish him off. Good enough. And goodbye. Perfect. That went very smoothly. And we got some gold out of that. Um, I'm just going to drop this key because I don't care that much about it. Ancient Coffin gives us a lot more gold, actually. Let's drop those, even though bleeding could be kind of dangerous for us, but we'll see. And actually, we have enough shovels that I feel okay about doing this. Yeah, more crests. We can't take the onyx unless we drop something, which we're not going to do. And yeah, another difficult fight. We're going to try and get this uh, ghoul killed uh, post hastily here. 5 to 11, 8 to 14. Yeah, we're... Ooh, excellent. Nice. Yeah, we're going to just try to do as much damage to this guy up front as possible. Uh, which means... He can duelist advance, so yeah, we'll, we'll do a lunge. Oh, that crit is so good. I love it. And now this, this lady is not much of a threat whatsoever. 
We might even actually be able to kill her. Almost certainly, in fact. Yep. There we go. Perfect. And this could be our last fight, but uh, it's not terribly likely. Although, truthfully, I don't even know what the odds are. <laughs> so I have no idea what the, you know how the, the map generation works, uh, statistically speaking. Another tough fight, but ooh, the surprise is going to make this much easier. So we flash in daggers and do some more grape shots. You know the drill by now. This is, uh, I like this build. It's, it's fairly effective. Ooh, but we didn't kill any of these guys. Much to my chagrin. Uh, I think we definitely want to kill this one, though. Just because the stacking blight is such a, a, like a real, real threat, honestly. Um, we don't want to allow that shit to happen, if at all possible. And good job. Okay. A lot more treasure, and we can't carry any of this stuff, so we'll just have to do that. Oh, good, though. We finished the mission, which means... Here, look at this. A map of the area. This is actually good. It'll tell us... If it's worth continuing, and uh, we can do one more room for sure. Let's see if we get some additional scouting. And we're not going to play with that at all. 250 gold, we'll take it. Scouting. I would love it if we got some scouting, though. Yeah, okay, good. Oh yeah, and actually, now that I think about it, we know that there's no more room combat, but uh, there could be hallway combat, of course. Some more crests. Uh, let's... Oops, let's eat our food. And uh, we'll drop it, we'll take the crests, and... Um, I think we'll just call it here. We don't need to worry too much. Our inventory is pretty much stacked. Actually, we could have dropped our shovels instead, but... It's okay. Let's let's just uh, leave with uh, what we got. I'm happy to have this uh, this trinket. We may put this to good use in the not too distant future here, but it's likely when we start doing the higher level missions, we'll need to stack accuracy because monsters get a massive uh, a massive dodge buff, which is a real pain in the ass. She will level up next time, so that's good. Dark temptation, prone to investigating the dark arts. That's not very good. Obsessed with killing? That seems like a convenient obsession to have. And scouting in the ruins. And stress resist in the ruins. I hope that didn't replace something good on her as well. I'm sure it did. In truth, I cannot let's just double check her. Ooh, well, let's close that. Um, yeah, I guess it just re replaces the bottom one all the, th all the time. That's okay. Oh, on guard. She still has on guard. Okay. Huh, I don't know what it replaced then, before, the other one. But, uh, yeah, things are going quite well for us. Berserk Charm. I think we will buy the Berserk Charm. Seems like something good to ha that's good to have. And I'm curious, what have, we, uh, what have we got waiting for us here? Medium mission? Eh, uh, yeah, nothing... Terribly wild, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to think about what we want to do when we come back. Ooh, actually, what's this? A sniper's ring. Range plus. This is actually the sort of what I was asking for. Um, so maybe we'll do this mission. We'll we'll see. But uh, anyway, until next time. <clears throat> excuse me. Until next time. My name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching. <laughs>